Hello everyone, this is Zook, and today I'm going to be drawing Vol'jin, the troll horde leader. Now, I made a couple of changes to the character, which are signified by the extremely witty name I came up with, which I'm extremely proud of, Vol'jinskit. It sounds Polish or Russian, but I assure you there's no connection. <clears throat> now, before I start, I have a couple of announcements to make. First off, for those of you that are extremely perceptive and have a good sense of observation, you might notice that I sound a bit different. This is because I have acquired a new mic, which I unboxed and reviewed in a video, which is on my channel. So if you're interested, head on over and check that out. And secondly, I have made a post on Facebook on uh, my page, facebook.com slash zookdustuff where you can ask me any sort of question you have, both personal and professional, and I will pick a handful of them to answer in a video, because I get a lot of emails and PMs with questions, and a lot of them are very similar, so I don't really like copy-pasting answers, because I find that disrespectful towards viewers, or people that are genuinely curious about me. So, if you have any non-retarded question, also preferably one that hasn't been answered already in a the FAQ on my channel, or in a previous video, you're more than welcome to go to Facebook and ask it there. And if it's good enough, then I will pick it for the next video, which will probably be, I think, tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, the Q&A video. So uh, that's about it. Now back to the drawing. Vol'jin is a shadow hunter. He is the son of Senjin also the leader of the Darkspear tribe. His uh, alliance with the Horde happened when the Horde intervened on a raid that was going on on the Senjin Islands, where the uh, Darkspear tribe almost got wiped out. So as a sign of appreciation, uh, Vol'jin pledged allegiance to Thrall and the Horde after his father, Senjin, was killed in that particular raid. So he became the chief shadow hunter of the Dark Spear tribe. And a shadow hunter basically means that he is both a warrior and uh, a wielder of voodoo magic. So that's what shadow hunters do. There are certain aspects of being a shadow hunter that are portrayed by the armor they wear, the garments they use, and the, the weapons they use. But Vol'jin has been portrayed in many different ways in World of Warcraft and by um, by concept artists. So there are a lot of versions of him, some more inclined towards the warrior side and some more towards the, the mage side. But in truth, it's a hybrid. Now, um, I chose um, to not copy a lot of armor, especially not from its its current version of uh, a Vol'jin, which is sort of... it resembles a rogue too much, I think. He He's wearing this leather armor with a bunch of weird animal skulls, and he's also carrying a twin blade in his hand, which I didn't use here because I thought it was way too towards the warrior side. I don't know, there's something about the voodoo that's a bit more fascinating than... Um, than just weapons, so I went with that uh, inclination. Now I made a major mistake at the beginning of this drawing. I um, I made a quite uh, irreparable anatomical mistake, and trying to erase it, I managed to rip through the paper. So I had to retrace my original sketch, which I spent an hour on on tracing paper, and I put the tracing paper under my drawing paper, so in case you see me flipping the page, I'm not copying it off some pre-made image, it's my own sketch. So I'm just trying to detail the the various elements, I improvised a lot on the character, and there's a lot of room for improv, I mean, just pick any sort of American Indian element, or uh, even African, because they deal with voodoo as well, so, and go crazy with it. Uh, you know, skulls are always nice, feathers are always good, and they have that one particular type of armor, or armor piece, which is basically a very stylized skull made of wood, which I am drawing right now, I think. 
and also of course spikes, horns, various animal parts, bones, you name it. You know, snakes are also a very common motif with uh, with trolls and voodoo in general. So I'm just uh, drawing the shoulder piece now, which is made of wood. Very easy, very light details, not a lot of them, because I'm trying to save a bit of time here. I made this video rather late. And the drawing took about two and a half hours, which is it's uh, it's not as much as it usually takes for me. And the reason for that was there's not of a lot of extreme detail to to put on this character, especially in this pose. I mean, I'm sure I could have probably done more with it, but I didn't want to to waste five not waste. I don't want to spend five hours on it because I notice that I get very tired and I start slacking off towards the end, even if I do take breaks. It's just five hours at once is a lot. I'm just drawing the feathers there, using the stylus for them. It's a brilliant tool for that, as I mentioned before. And I'm drawing the the arms. I tried to make the musculature as close to humanoid as possible. And it turned out okay. I had uh, a few issues with it at the beginning on my first version of the sketch. But after an hour of drawing, when I made that huge mistake, which which couldn't be erased, or well, it could, but... I messed up. Um, I fixed some of the issues with the muscles and how the arm looks like when it's bent. Thankfully. Hands were pretty easy to draw, especially since uh, one of them is half covered by... Uh, well, I'm not going to give it away now. You'll see later. I'm sure a lot of you will appreciate what <laughs> what I managed to do with the character. I'm. Uh, it's quite funny. So now I'm drawing what I like to call the... Uh, Troll face voodoo stick, and you'll see in a minute why it's called that. Just drawing a regular crooked wand type of of, uh, of item, like what, sort of a walking stick wand hybrid. And right there, I'm drawing my uh, my most significant work of art ever, which is the all familiar troll face, which I'm sure you all know, love, and excessively use. So yes, Volginskit is carrying a troll face voodoo stick. I don't know what he does with it, and I don't think I want to know what he does with it, but it's there. Just uh, lightly drawing the legs or the feet behind him because he's in a crouching position. Obviously, they won't be as detailed as uh, if they were in the foreground. Finishing up there with the shades, and now I'm down to his face which I left for last because it would just be too obvious if I started with the face. And yes, there it is, the top hat. I did it, finally. I gave uh, <laughs> I gave in to, to the demands of my viewers, what can I say? Of course I had to uh, do my own thing there, so I ripped the top off and stitched it. and also put a patch on there with uh, circles and stuff, just to break the the monotone nature of the top hat. I'm drawing his monocle there, drawing the nose, tusks. I made them quite big, putting a little ornaments on them. And now I'm just uh, finishing up the face with the stylus. I'm drawing like a little beard on its on its on his side. I didn't give him a or well more like sideburns than anything. I didn't go crazy with the hair because it was already cluttered enough, so I didn't want to to further clutter it because it's, with these characters they have so many ornaments right there I'm just drawing drawing the um, a necklace of like small skulls and little uh, animal teeth and just sort of a couple of more like beads and strands of whatever it is that he's wearing mostly decorational and right now the, f the final part of this drawing is the uh, I'm not sure what to call that. It's a very specific item that the Shadow Hunters wear. It's basically like a shield, like a shaman's shield sort of thing made of uh, skulls, bones, whatever they could find. In any case, I thought it looked cool, so I decided to incorporate it and just to fill out the paper a bit. And there's a skull, a bone, two bones, and a cobra's head, which are all tied together with... Uh, 
with a, a strip of fabric. And there it is, Volginskit in his glory with his uh, troll face and uh, voodoo wand. So I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time for my drawing video and check out the posts and uh, the microphone review if you're interested. This microphone is brilliant. So yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.